Hey PPR fans, Erica Cardenas here for your game of the week where the La Jolla Vikings host the Scripps Ranch Falcons and what is perhaps the most picturesque football stadium in all of Southern California. Tonight will also be a rematch of the 2019 Division III Championship game. Last week, both teams won their week one matchups. Scripps Ranch defeated San Pasqual 53 to 20 and the Vikings dominated the Bishops Knights, holding them at 42 and three all night long. Now it is early in the season, every team is still shaking off that pandemic deaths, but is it possible that these two teams really are just that good? If so, who leaves tonight undefeated? We find out now. This is your Game of the Week. First score of the night, Scripps Ranch's Jax Leatherwood connects with Connor Lawler for a 36-yard touchdown, Falcons up seven. Next, three plays later, La Jolla's Jackson Stratton finds Mackay Smith for a 29-yard touchdown run. But the extra point is no good. 76 Falcons. Falcons. Jacks with the handoff to Jalen Shaw, who scores for four yards on the ground. 66 Falcons. Vikings. Stratton with a deep shot to Smith, and it's a perfect catch. What a throw and what a catch. 72 yard touchdown, Vikings. Here, Vikings will go for the two point conversion, and it is good, tying us up at 14. Falcons ball, Jax looks left for Dylan Winger, and here's Winger, chased by an entourage, going up the sideline all the way to the end zone for a 67-yard touchdown. Falcons 21, Vikings 14. Vikings ball, Stratton's chased by two defenders, throws an interception to Dylan Stoney for a Falcons first down. Falcons at the six-yard line, and the kick by Thomas Rohr is good making it 24-14 Falcons. Vikings, Jackson Stratton with time, floats one to Ryan Weinberg for a 55-yard touchdown catch. Falcons 24, Vikings 21. Vikings with four minutes left in the first half. Stratton's handoff to Mackay is fumbled, but the dual threat quarterback picks it up for 21 yards and the Vikings first down. Stratton, in the pocket, finds Mason Powers and he takes it all the way for a 58-yard Vikings touchdown. But the PAT is no good. It's 24-27 Vikings. Then, Falcons finishing an 18-play drive with a handoff to Jalen Shaw, who runs it in for a one-yard touchdown. Falcons retake the lead, 31-27 going into the half. Falcons, first and two. Here's Jalen Shaw with his third touchdown run of the night, making it 37 to 27 Falcons. Vikings at fourth and 10 sets up for a punt and it is blocked. Ball goes out of bounds at the Falcons five yard line. On the next play, Jax looks left and connects with Connor Lawler, putting the Falcons up 44 to 27. Vikings Stratton with the play fake, Fumbles it and Falcons Ethan Roche recovers it for Falcons first down. And here's Coach Roach with a little team pep talk. Falcons fourth down. Jack Sutherwood sends it to Connor Lawler for his third touchdown reception of the night. Falcons extend their lead 51 to 27, but the Vikings in your rearview mirror are closer than they appear. On the next drive, Jackson Stratton keeps it for a first down and then he gets an open look to mason powers and it's a 23 yard touchdown reception they'll go for the two-point conversion here and mason powers makes it 52 to 35 falcons fourth quarter stratton lobs it to powers for a 16 yard touchdown catch they'll go for the two-point conversion and it is good Falcons 52, Vikings 43. After the Vikings force a Falcons turnover, Stratton inside the Falcons 30, scrambles out the pocket and connects with Spence Carswell for a 19-yard touchdown. Finally, Stratton runs it up the middle for their fourth successful two-point conversion of the night, but it wasn't enough. Falcons run the clock on the final possession. Final score, Falcons 52, Vikings 51. A well-matched game led by players with no quit. It's what PPR dreams are made of. Here's what a few Falcons had to say after tonight's matchup. 
it was a big one. We focused all week, had a hard practice all week, and uh, we, we knew we, we, we could come out here. If we played like this, we could beat them. Uh, we watched the film all week. We did our homework, and you know, it feels good to, to come, out, come out on top after these guys have, uh, have done us dirty the past few years. So it's a really good feeling. I got to give it to the O-line. The O-line really executed. That's really the best game I've ever seen a unit play, and they blocked to the, to the whistle every single play, and I, I love them for that. I got to get them dinner or something.